Hi, girls. And this read about some and powers or formulas, uh, including multiplications and the so we said if we have the same base, like for example, a to the power symbol times a to the power. Or for example, if we have same base in the multiple, we are going to add the powers, so that is will be a to the power seven. While if we have a to the power three over a to the power four, so this again. Same base, between them, division, I'm going to subtract the powers. So that is, will be a to the power 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. And we learned also in the, in the first lesson, if we have a negative power, we have to write it like this, a to the power 1. So if we write power 1 or not. We also said if we have a to the power 0, so that is equal to one. So we also learned that if we have a times b, all this to the power, for example, three, if between them multiplication, we can distribute the power. We said we can say that this is a to the power three, b to the power three. We also learned that if we have a over b, Look, these are not the same base. All this, this to the power 3, so that is equal to, we can distribute the powers, so that is a to the power 3 over b to the power 3. So, you can just say that. We also learned if we have a power raised to another power, which means if you have a to the power 3, all this, for example, to the power, for example, 4. So you will multiply these, so that is will be equal to a to the power 12. So that's the idea from most things that we learned. Also, we learned if we have, for example, instead of having here positive number, if we have negative number, we are going to write the opposite. Let me do, do it with you up. So a to the power or a over b, all this to the power negative 3. So that is equal to b over a, all this to power 3. So just distribute your power. So that is b to the power 3 over a to the power 3. So this is just a quick and fast what we learned in the previous lessons from the first one until this lesson. So I'm going to give you more details and more practice for this lesson to make sure that you are okay with the idea. So we also divide scientific notation. We also had this rule, what I was telling you, distribute if you have, um, if you have um, two, two, um, any two numbers and they raise to a power, between the division, you can distribute the uh, power that you have. We also finished it on this one, and we also finally discussed if we have negative power like this. And we finished the lesson by this problem. But I will give more problems and more examples to make sure that you are okay with the idea. So let's solve the question uh, 71 here. So question 71, I'm going to solve it here. So that will be, I have 3x, y, all this to the power 5. Not all this, it's 5 to the, y to the power 5. This, the power, this power, it's only for y. Over x to the power 4, y, all this to power negative two. Here, I can do two ways. I can do a very smart way, 
which means simplify what I have inside, then distribute your power. Let's do that, which is much easier than flipping these, then do the other, the rest of the calculation. Let's do this. So this is, will be three. X and X, they are same base, but between them division, just subtract their powers. So one minus four, one minus four, it will be negative three. So X to the power minus three. Y to the power five minus one, which is Y to the power what? Y to the power four. Remember, all this to the power negative two. Now, I did not do anything upon the previous part. I just distribute your power for all of them. After you distribute, you will get a three, the power negative two. Then negative three and negative two. Once you multiply negative three times negative two, that is x to the power positive six y to the power four times negative two that is negative eight now take the negative powers move them down so you can calculate them you cannot calculate you learned in the first lesson what should you do with the negative powers so the first one write your fraction three to the power two will be down three to the power two y to the power eight will be down the remaining from the denominator, only this x, keep it already in its place. So x to the power 6. You can calculate this also. So that is, will be x to the power 6 over 9 y to the power 8. Make sure, girls, once you watch my, my video, make sure that you try it. If you feel you understand the idea, Directly try them. Stop the video. Try them. Then check your answer from my explanation. Do not depend on listening. Try by your hand. Let me do with you more exercise. So, for this one, I have same thing. I'm going before I distribute. I will try to simplify what I have inside the parentheses. Then I will distribute. So that is will be the first one. A the power minus one minus two minus three times b to the power three minus four minus one finally c just leave it like that all this to power six now i will distribute power six so that is a to the power negative 18 D to the power negative six. C to the power six. Just move the negative powers down. So that is equals to leave C in the denominator and then move them the others down. A to the power eight. B to the power six. And that's it. I'm done like that. So here, there is nothing, any power raised to another power. So that is equal to, remember, this screen, which is more exercises, it is including all the lessons that we learned before. M and M here, that will be M to the power. Four minus minus two. So four plus two will be six. Remember. I'm doing this way, I'm adding and subtracting the power. If I have the same base, n and m same, I have n. So n to the power what? 3 minus 7 minus 4. p to the power minus 3 minus minus 8 plus 8. So it will be 5. Just simplify this one. How you will simplify it? Just by 
moving the negative powers down and leaving the positive power already in its place. So that is 6 t to the power 5 over n to the power 4. Let me show you this one. What will I going to do with this one? Since this one 4, it is to the power negative 2, I'm going to move it down so I can calculate it. Same thing with this one. I'm going to move it up so I can calculate it. So that is will be 1 over 6, all this to the power. Let me solve it here in this area. Because I need more space. For a question, 73. I will write directly the answer. 1 over 6, all this to the power 3. I moved it up because the power here negative. The opposite, move it up. This one, because the power is negative, that means it's not at a place. Move it down to make it positive. So that is will be 1 over 4, all this to the power now you will try to distribute your power. All right. So that is will be 1 over 6 to the power 3. Right? Over same thing 1 to the power 2. 1 to the power 2. I will write for you even here too. Just to show you. In case if you forgot the idea. Because not always it will be 1. So 4 to the power 2. Now that is will be equals to. 1 over 6 to the power 3 will be 200, 216 over 1 over 16. You learned also in a grade 7, what should you do with this one? This is a fraction divided by another fraction. You can make multiply by a spherical. Just say. 2, 16 times, just multiply by its spherical. How can you move this up? Which is by saying 16 over 1. Next, this is will equals to 16 over 216. Simplify them if you can. So once you simplify them, you will get You will get um, you will get two over twenty seven. So that's when you simplify them. Definitely, I'm not learning you in this course how to simplify them. You will simplify them step by step. For example, you will divide one step by step until you get the simplest form. But here I divided directly by eight. So once I divide sixteen by eight, I got two. Then 216 by 8, you got all, uh, you will get a 27. So this is for 73. Let me do with you um, just one also more exercise. I just want to make sure that you are okay with the idea. Please write them in your note. Please write them in your note. I will be very serious with solving these exercises. So here I have. I have this one. Let me solve it for you. These are same base. I'm not worrying even if they change for me in the numbers. So I have 0 0.3, uh, 2, sorry, 2 to the power 3 times. These are same base, 0 0.2 to the power 4, and this is to the power 7. So that is four minus uh, four minus seven, which is will be negative three. Also, this is zero point two and this is zero point two. So these are same base also. So that will be zero point at the powers. 
But that is negative, one of them negative, one of them positive, so that is two to the power zero. Anything to power zero, it is one. The idea is really simple, but it is need, need you practice. So once you practice more, you will learn more. Now let me do with you also 28. So let's do 28. I need uh, enough space for 28, so I will do it here also. So for a question uh, 78, sorry, 78, I'm going to solve it here. All right, step by step. Is there any power raised to another power? No. So let's just make calculation with these numbers. 6 divided by 2, it will be 3 up. So I will have a 3. A to the power 3 and A to the power 4. 3 minus 4, it will be a to the power minus 1. Eight and 36, I can just, how can I simplify them? I can simplify them maybe by, by, by 8 immediately. So can I do that? No, I cannot. So I can simplify this by maybe uh, 4, which is will be 2. So then the remaining here will be 2 over, once I simplify this by 4, it will be 2. Once I simplify this by 4, it will be 9. So that is will be 2 over 9. Then b to the power 4 minus minus 1, 4 minus minus 1, so it will be b to the power there is only small thing I have to do since between them all multiplication I can just simplify these also by 3 this is will be 1 so by 3 this is will be 3 I just can change the order for all of them so that is will be a I will write the numbers that I have I would write 3 sorry 2 over 3 I just wrote the subtraction that I wrote here. I just wrote it in the middle, in the beginning here. Definitely, you can just take these numbers and put them in the calculator and find the result. But I like to show you what to do with the basic idea and the calculation without. This is a to the negative one. I have to move it down. So that will be 2b to the power. 5 over 3a to the power 1. If you write power 1 or not here, it doesn't matter. So it is a 3a. So this is the idea. Here, you can use two ways. You can directly simplify exactly the same thing that I did here with simplifying. Or you can just move this up and move this down, then distribute. But I believe that is, it is much easier if we calculate what we have inside. So we have 4 x to the power. Let's distribute this one first. So let me raise one from these exercises. So, for a question 77, distribute first what you have inside. Leave this big power outside, leave it as it is. Let's work on what we have inside. We have this parenthesis also, small parenthesis inside, which means this power, including both numbers that you have here. So that is, will be 4 to the power 2, x to the power 2, y over x, y to power 4. All right. Now, I'm going to calculate what I have inside. So that is equals to 
4 to the power 2, I know it, it's 16. X to the power 4, sorry. I will directly do it. X to the power 2 and X to the power 1. So it will be X to the power 2 minus 1, X to the power 1. So I'm not writing any power up. Y to the power 1 minus 4, it is minus 3. Don't forget outside, the remaining outside, which is negative 2. So that is equals to, now I'm going to distribute this. So 16 to the power negative 2 times x to the power negative 2 times y to the power negative 3 times negative 2, it is 6. Now you have to move these down so you can calculate them. So that is equals to y to the power 6. Move 16 to the power 2 and x to the power 2 so you can calculate them. So 16 to the power 2, x to the power 2. Now you can calculate 16 to the power 2. 16 to the power 2, which is equals to 200. So that is equals to x, uh, sorry, y to the power 6 over 256 x to the power 2. That's the idea. So I did with you all these exercises, girls. Please, I want to make sure that you all writing all these exercises in your notes. Please write them down in your notes. So I did all these exercises. So the only remaining exercise, this one. And I will do it before I move from the slide. So that is will be for exercise 76. First of all, let me work on the powers that I have inside. So what I have inside, I will work on this power. Since I have a negative 4, all this to the power 2, I can calculate this. The power is positive. So negative 4 times negative 4, since the power here is even, for sure I will remove my, my power. 4 times 4, it is 60. over negative 3 to the power negative 3. This is, looks confusing, but it is not for my greatest students. So the power here is negative. I'm going to move it up so I can have it positive. While I will leave 16, I will open parentheses negative 3. I will keep this negative 3 and all this to the power 3. All this to the power 2. So what is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3? So once you calculate all this, you will get negative 27. So 16 times negative 27. All this to power 2. Take these, multiply them. So once you multiply them, you will get 400 negative 432. All this to power 2. Look up the sign. I just want you to notice one thing. Even if you try to put this one in the calculator, you must put parentheses. Don't say miss. You put minus and the three 
then you will put raise to power directly and then you will put two like this or three like this. Make sure if you have the power like this, please make sure that you put the parentheses to get the correct answer. Now, since the power here even, so that means this is will also will be moved 432 to the power 2, which means 432 times itself. So that is to the power 2, you will get definitely big number and you will get it positive. So that is 1866. So it is 18,624. So that's the idea and that's the answer for the last one. That's what I have for this lesson. I would like to give you more practice and more exercise related. So you don't worry, my girls, if you have something similar to this one. So that is n to the power x plus 2. As you see here, that is challenging a question. So it just challenge a question. n to the power x. So here I have this one because I have a division. I rewrite it like this. So I know that these are same base. I'm going to subtract the powers. So that is will be x plus 2 minus x. So that is will be x with this x will remove. So the remaining is n to the power 2. I will leave this one, this one, this one bonus for the students listening to me until this time or until this minute. I will see who is focusing with me. So these three exercises, bonus, please solve them and then send them to me. Show me what you will gonna do with these three exercises. So that's the end of this lesson. I will move to the next lesson, which is the other seven five, which is seven five that is tell you. So this is the next lesson, which is rational exponent and radicand. So I would like to just to give you basic in this lesson for um, this lesson. So rational exponent, they mean by something like this. For example, let's say x to the power one half. For example, x to the power one over three. We can say x to the power 2 over 3, x to the power uh, 4 over 5, and so on. We also just don't have only variables as a base. We might have 9, for example, to the power 1 half. We can say 16 to the power 1 half. What is this? How can I calculate this value, value that is raised to a power like this? If you have the denominator 1 over 2 or 3 or any number, you will look here. How can you find the value for this one? You will think about a number once you multiply it by itself. 2 times, which is according to the denominator, you will get this number, which is here 3. In another way, and I remember that I told you about this, but I would like to remind you that this is, will be the square root. So if you have 1 over 2, that is, will be the square root. So that is the square root. In the square root, we just write it like that. This is the radicand formula or the radicand form. So the square root of 9, that is, will be equals to 9 to the power 1 over 2, which is equals to 3. So that's the idea from this lesson. Same thing with the cubic root. We don't have only, but just keep in your mind, that will be the index for this one. Let me give you more details once I get here, once I see this one. So this is the radical 
symbol, which is the radical symbol. I have it here. So the square root of four, you know it is it's still two. The square root of nine, which is equal three. If I want to convert this one into exponential form, I can say that if this is nine to the power one over two and so on. Let me give you more details. We don't have only square roots. We have a cubic roots, fourth root, fifth root, and so on. But how can I write them? This is, will be here, the index of the root that I have. Which means, for example, if I have, for example, I will have a clock. Uh, for, example, for example, the x. So that is equals to to the power one over four. So always in the denominator, if you have here. Outside of four, four numbers, we don't have only x. X is variables. Let me give you three examples. If the power is times two, that will be sorry, four. Two times two is a four. Four times two. That is that I can write this eight as a two to the power three. So that here I can say that. In a state of this eight, two to the power three, which is all this to the power one third. So that is a power raised to another power. So that is means this is directly two. So that's the basic idea. Let me give you more example. Again, sixteen to the power one four or to the 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 fourth root for sixteen, which is sixteen to the power one over four. So that is equals to, I can just change this one into, I know the answer is two. So why it's two? Because I know that 16 is equals to two times two times two times two, which is, this is the number. I repeat it four times or I multiply it by itself four times so I can get 16. I mentioned something similar and lesson and lesson, I think lesson seven, three, which is very something similar with this power. You can find this number easily by calculator. If you say, OK, next, there is two ways. You can just put um, the bottom that is look like this. You can put it once you click on this one you will get something similar to this one. Once you get something similar to this one, this is the number that you want as the base inside, and then here, click again. Once you move your, your mouse or the thing that you share on, you can click on this sign, so you can have a fraction. Then write the fraction that you have, which is one over four. Also, you can use the radical symbol if you put shift with the same this bottom. You will get something similar to this one. If you put that, put here four, for example, and then put inside 16, then you will get what you need. Let's start this lesson. This is just beginning of this lesson. So our objective is 
free right expression involving radical radicals and rad rational exponent. So we are going to convert from this expression into this expression. Definitely, you will have some some variables, some numbers, some. So you will have more like uh, more complicated things. Not only this. I'm just introducing this part for you by using these basic things. So that's the idea. What is the meaning of the, the index? The index gives you the degree of the root, and that's what I was saying. So this is the index, we put it here. This is the radical sign. We can say also that this is the root. We also say this is the radicand. The number that I have inside, this is the radicand. Let's move and give you more exercise. Here, this one. If I'm telling you what is the value, what is the cubic root of 125? You will look at a number. Once you multiply it by itself, you will get 125. You can find it easily by calculator. But what about if you don't have calculator? Let's make a prime factorization for this number so you can figure it out. So what is the meaning of a prime factorization? Which means I will try to factor this number and see what is the numbers that I can multiply them by each other so I can get 125. Prime factorization, which means I will use numbers, which is these numbers, I can divide them only by their self and one only. Other than that, no, which is, means like 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on from the prime, prime numbers. So always start from these prime numbers. If you have digit 5 or 0, you can start by 5. So here, I can divide by 5. Once you divide by 5, you will get 25. Again, once you divide this number, I can divide it by 5. So I can get 5. So 5 by 5, you will get 1. Finally, this number, 125, 125, I can write it like this. 5 times 5 times 5, which is in another words, I can say 5 to the power 3, which is equals to 5 to the power 3. So, 5 to the power 3, okay, great. I found a number. When I multiply it by itself, I got 125. So that means the answer for this one, it is 5. Why miss 5? If you exchange this one into 5 to the power 3, and if you exchange the radical symbol by using the exponential form, you will get 1 over 3. And this is a power raised to another power, so that is a 5. Same thing with this one, which is I already did it. You know that 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, great. I found a number once I multiply it by itself. The same number once I multiply it by itself, I got 16. So that's me here. The answer is 2. Why I need 4 times only? Because I have here the degree of this, uh, the degree of this root is 4. Let me give you more exercises. Again, if you have calculator, you know what is the 27. 27 is a 3 times 3 times 3. So that is 9. 9 times a 3, it's a 27. So the answer here is 3. 32. Again, you will look at the prime factorization if you don't know. 32. 32 is even number. Since this is even number, you can divide it by 2. Once you divide 36 by 2, it is 16. 16 by 2, it is 8. 8 by 2, it is 4. 4 by 2, it is 2. So finally by 2, so that is 1. See how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is five times, and great, I have here the degree is five. That means two to the power five, or two when I smile, I multiply it by itself five times, I will get 32. So that does mean I 
this number, which is month, when I multiply it by itself five times, I will get 32, which is two, 64. You will look for a number once you multiply it by. So that is 64. So by two, you will get 32. So by uh, you will get 32. Yeah, by two again, you will get. You will get 60. And by two, you will get. Eight and so. Finally, you can get you can get two. Two to the power six. OK, yes. But this is two to the power six, and I have here three. So what am I supposed to do? I can see that this is to the power one. But that means this is will equals two. If I raise this power to this, power, so that it will be two to the power six of b, which is two. That means the number that I'm looking for is four. check your answer by yourself. Is four times four times four three times will give me thirty or uh, will give me sixty four. Is that correct? Will that sixty four? If you check that, you will find that yes. So this is if you already memorized it six times six. Because I'm looking for a number when I multiply. I'm sure you will immediately do all these exercises by calculator, and I don't have a problem with that. You can use it unless if you need to uh, do the factorization that you will gonna see in the coming, inshallah, in the coming uh, exercises. So here is more exercises for that. I'm not going to work on them because these exactly same idea. Here you can say that is immediately seven. One, the fifth root for one, it is directly one. Here is the uh, the square root for 81, which is directly, it is the number that you multiply it by itself, which is nine, and so on with the others. Now, let me give you more, more details uh, for this lesson. Here we have, if we have, for example, a to the power two over three, you know that 2 over 3, you can rewrite them in multiplication like this. 1 over 3 times 2, right? You can write them like that. So since you can write them like that, we learned before, if we raise a power to another power, we know we can write them like this. Let me write down. So that will be 8 to the power 2 over 3. Since I can do this, I can rewrite this 8 to the power 2, all this to power 1 third. And you learn that 1 third, 1 over something, you learn that this is the cubic root. This 3, you will put it outside, and then you will leave 8 inside to the power 2. Same thing with the others. You can change the order for this. You can say that this is the cubic root of 8. All this to the power 2. I mean, you can change the order for this. You can put the 2 outside or you can keep it inside if you have this. Why? According to commutative property, of multiplication. So here is the key concept tells you once you have one over n, which is equal to just take what you have in the denominator, definitely in the exponent exponent, just take it, put this n here, the degree of your uh, of your root. Or or if you have n over n, if you have something here, if there is a number here, you can put it inside or outside, while the denominator, uh, the denominator of the exponent, you should put it in the degree of 
but we give you more detail and more example for this. So in the coming day problems, we need to convert from uh, from exponential form into radical form, which means the root. You will write it the root. It depends on what you have. So for this problem, we can say 12. This is basic and easy problem. We can say that is a 12. As we just learned in the key concept here, we will apply this one. We have to say a to the power 2. And I have to put my radical symbol, which is and then C, as I said, the dominator of my power, it will be the, the degree of my root. And I'm done. Like that, I'm done. You can also rewrite this one if you wrote, if one from you, if she wrote, that is. And then she put A like this and all this to power 2. No problem. That will be exactly the same idea. We need to do more work. Why? And we need to simplify it. We must simplify. So first thing first, what I learned, the basic idea that I learned, that is, 64 a to the power all this since there is between the parentheses all this to the power four the fifth root how to distribute this one since between the multiplication that means you can distribute your power. So that is 64 to the power 4 a any problem and hopefully no problem. Now, girl, I need to simplify this. I should not leave it like that. I have to work on this as a number. Maybe I can work on it so I can take it out from the root. So, including this one, so I can make it maybe. I divide it. So what should I do? I will take my 64. We just did in the previous sli slides that 64 is once we do the factorization, which is by two step by step, we got that 64 is equals to 2 to the power 6. That's what we did before a few minutes. We can substitute it here. So let's do that. So that is to the power 5. So that is, will be, Instead of this one, I'm going to put 2 to the power 6, all this to the power 4, a to the power 4. So that is equals to, I'm going to continue here. So that is the fifth root, which is equals to the fifth root. Now I'm going to multiply my powers. So just multiply your powers. Six times four is 24. So the power here is a 24 times a to the power four. Yes, what are you doing? What is useful from all things that you are doing now? We couldn't get the idea. Uh, here, I'm trying to make this number. So I can just, if I change this, or if I separate these two, I can simplify it with 1 over 5. This root or this radical symbol, it is means power 1 over 5. For this reason, 
I'm going to rewrite this one into 2 to the power 20 times 2 to the power 4 a to the power 4 all this to the power 5. So, can I separate this? Can I separate this root? Can I leave this 5? 2 to the power 4, which is 16. A to the power 4. And here I can say, can I say that is, I just separate them. I did not do anything else. 2 to the power 1. Why I'm doing all this? You know what is the meaning of that? The meaning of this, 2 to the power 20, all this to the power 1 over 5. That's a great. Once I multiply them, I can get 2 to the power 4. And that's what I need. I could simplify it and write it in the radical form. 16a4. Just the last step. What is 2 to the power 4, which is easily 16. The fifth root, 16, A, 4. So this is just beginning an introduction for this lesson. I'm going to continue with you this lesson, inshallah, tomorrow. Good luck, girls. Bye.